What up YouTube, it's your boy the Flying Spanner here and today it is Friday so we have the UK airport update. So starting off today's video, we've got lots of new, kind of not new but um, routes that have started up again. All kind of uh, all good stuff. So today's simulation time is quarter to 11 on a Sunday. So it's kind of a time that I have never really covered before. So this is the the early morning wide body session. Um, so it's probably the busiest time of the morning, I'd say, looking at the schedule anyway. Um, so it's nice to have a little bit of variety, a little bit of models you don't normally see, um, and some models you might see more regularly. So starting off, we're starting off from a different angle. So on the, I can't remember what this stand is, I believe it's a, So this is that these are stands eleven, so eleven normal, eleven left, eleven right, or is it the other way around? Sorry, stand eleven left is that one. It's weird. This stands a weird one, and then that's the wide body is stand eleven. So we have just arrived in from Lisbon. The tap A three twenty. So tap have started today. Um, Tap have been running at this time mainly for, for a while and um, always good to see them back and it's very nice to be on the tap. I can't wait for some kind of Neo to be uh, released. I believe Aero Classic made a 321 Neo but I never got my ch chance to get a hand on it. Um, the next bit we have an American 777-300 uh, that is just boarding up and will be heading out to Miami. Then just departing uh, runway 05s are in use, which is a rarity. And uh, we've got a Scandinavian A320 Neo. This is heading out to Oslo. Uh, this is the old, this is the Aero Classics version, which is the uh, the old livery now. Uh, I can't wait to get the new Gemini one. I have ordered it, just waiting to get back from an aircraft model store. And um, hopefully I'll get it soon. Next up, we got a Delta A330. 900 Neo. This aircraft is just boarding up and we'll be heading out to Atlanta. Then we have the Etihad 787-10 Greenliner. Uh, this will be, this is just uh, being serviced midway through the turn uh, and we'll be heading out to Abu Dhabi. Great one, the catering truck just fell down. Oh, great. That's what happens when you accidentally hit the wing. Oh, these herper catering trucks, like just her catering trucks in general, are just such a pain. Right, you now just zoom. There we go. That we fixed. Next up, we have the American Airlines 787 8. Once again, just being serviced, and this will be heading out to New York JFK. Then we have a surprising visitor. So Norwegian have actually now resumed service to this airport and Gatwick only in the UK. Um, it's purely operating the Orlando flight. So they used to have uh, two flights, well, four flights a day, two to Orlando, two to Bergen. Um, then there, is, there was the occasional, there was the occasional Oslo. Um, but then that got and um, all they're trying now is the Orlando flight because it's kind of an essential service because no one else operates to Orlando. Scandinavian are in talks of taking over the route from Norwegian. Um, but that'll probably be when I receive the second Neo because the uh, two times always seem to mix. So it's nice seeing the red noses back. Um, hopefully in real life we'll see them back sooner than 2021. Next up. Japan Airlines 787-8 and that is once again just boarding up so we've got loads of wide body departures coming out uh, and this will be heading out to Tokyo Haneda that's how you say it and then just pushing back we have the Lufthansa A320 Neo and this will be heading out to Munich and finally a busy yet quiet airport update today 
we have a KLM 737-900 in the Sky Team livery and this one is also boarding and we'll be heading out to Amsterdam. So, in case you're unaware, the UK today has announced more travel restrictions. So, anyone coming back from, I believe, France, Netherlands, uh, I can't remember all the other destinations uh, by mind. But luckily they they won't impact any of the flights, unlike the Spanish. Because they're all, they're not really destinations, apart from EastJet, come back and from. They're not really destinations or countries that the hubbed airlines, Jet2, TUI, visit. So uh, they're the main, they're the main reason why uh, like the, all the Jet2 Spanish flights have been cancelled because no one's really going on holiday there now. And whereas Amsterdam and Paris, etc., all them kind of flights, they're essential because they're going to cities, still got a little bit of business, um, but they're essentially key hubs rather than um, holiday destinations. So those routes, the new travel guidelines of the UK will no longer affect the and those routes. So luckily we'll be seeing KLM, Air France, everyone resume their normal service which is always good to see and uh, it's nice to see the airports now picking up and it's nice not to be able to um look at a schedule when it's completely empty um which was the case during the peak and the really it was really hard doing updates while there was while it was all storage because there was nothing really going on apart from the narrow body stuff um but yeah i'm hoping to keep the variety up it's, it is weird i'm now marking where i last did an airport update on the schedule so i don't kind of keep repeating week after week um and every week is kind of every day of the schedule is a little bit different but most of these stays stays normal because of all the especially with the scheduled aircraft the klms the scandinavians the lufthansa's it's all scheduled so they all um they will come in at the same time every day whatever day of the week whatever day of the year kind of thing um which is always good so thank you very much for watching the video i know it's been a bit of a, a quick update as per usual but there's not really much i can do with this airport so <laughs> um until full operations resume and we have a completely full airport it will be relatively quick updates um, and it's trying to i'm trying to still assess in the schedule just have a look at when I can fill in new routes and everything, etc. Um, when and how it happens. So thanks for watching. I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Adios and have a good weekend. Ciao.